Today, we're going to create an entire drawing using quick shapes. Quick shapes are pre designed objects which you can add to your page in just a few clicks. You can adjust and morph them to create your own shapes. This is really easy to do and places a whole range of design possibilities at your fingertips. In this tutorial, we're going to create a cartoon fish. So let's get started. First, you'll need to start a new drawing and set the type of page you want to use. I've chosen A4 Landscape. In Draw Plus, there are lots of quick shapes you can choose from. These can be found in the Quick Shapes flyout on the Drawing toolbar. I'm going to start with a quick ellipse. To draw your quick shape on the page, simply click and drag. I want to make it look more cartoon like. So, I'll increase the shape's line width on the context toolbar. You could change the line style from here too. Next, we'll set the colour. On the colour tab, first select the line swatch and choose the colour. Then, do the same with the background swatch. Now we can create the tail. From the Quick Shapes flyout, choose the Quick Badge. And then draw it out on the page. You can see that DrawPlus has remembered the line and colour settings, so we don't have to set these again. To give the tail some shape, you can change the nodes by clicking and dragging this handle. The shape also needs rotating by 90 degrees, which we'll do from the Arrange tab. Simply click the small arrow next to the Rotate button and choose 90 degrees. Choose the pointer tool from the drawing toolbar and position the tail in place. We can use a copy of this shape to create the fin. Ensure you've got the shape selected and then use the copy and paste buttons on the standard toolbar to copy it. At first, it might look like nothing has happened, but if you click on the shape and move it slightly, you'll see that the copy has been pasted exactly on top of the original. I'll just drag it to the top of the ellipse and then resize it using the resize handles. Finally, position the fin so that the point is in line with the line behind it. On the Layers tab, you can see the three shapes that make up our cartoon so far. They are still separate shapes, but we can combine them together to make the body more fish like. To do this, we'll use the Shape Builder tool. To begin, select the Shape Builder tool from the Drawing toolbar and then drag a line from the tail to the body. The shapes highlight to show that they will be changed. Release the mouse button and you'll see that the two shapes have been joined together. We can clearly see this change on the Layers tab. The Shape Builder tool can also be used to create new separate shapes. I'll move the pointer over the top half of the fin. To split the shape, just click once. We now have two shapes. The second shape can be used to create the pectoral fin of our fish. Just select the pointer tool and then move the second part of the fin into position. To make it easier to move the fish around on the page, select all of the shapes and click the Group button. Next, We'll add some eyes. Select the quick ellipse from the quick shapes flyout and then draw it out on the page. Hold down the shift key while you drag to create a perfect circle. We can leave the line colour as it is, but change the fill colour to white. As the ellipse is selected, I can simply click and drag to create a smaller circle for the pupil. This time, I'll drag the node down a little which creates a wedge in the circle and acts as a highlight. The node on the other side changes the position of the highlight. I want the line and fill colour for this shape to be the same. An easy way of doing this is by clicking the Link button, which sits between the two swatches. Now, change the colour to black. With the pointer tool, select both objects and click Group. I want to create a second eye. To do this, first select the eye 
and then copy and paste it using the tools on the standard toolbar as we did earlier. Next, move the copied shape a little to the right and make it a little smaller. Then right click it and choose Order Objects Back 1. Tweak the positioning a little if required. To finish, let's give the fish a mouth using a simple ellipse. I want to rotate it but only slightly, so I'll use the rotation handles. Hover over a corner of the bounding box until the handle appears and then just click and drag. Before we continue, let's group all of the pots of the fish together. Let's add a background. Select the quick rectangle and draw the shape to fill the page. Then apply a line colour and fill. The fish is hidden, so we need to send the background to the back of the drawing. To do this, right click the quick rectangle and choose Order Objects Centre Back. To complete the drawing, I'd like to add some detail using the pencil tool. I want to use the same colour as I used for the fish outline, but it would be really difficult to find it again in the colour tab. Fortunately, DrawPlus has kept a record of all the colours used in this project. These can be found in the document palette, which is in the swatch tab. I'll just select the colour and then start drawing. Well that's it, the cartoon is finished. We've seen how easy it is to transform a few basic quick shapes into a great looking drawing. Now it's your turn to experiment with quick shapes and create your own designs. For more information, see the help, the how to tab, or the other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.